Hello there and welcome back to the Endless War which is Mace Tyrell's life. We did have the Lannisters on our side but Jaime has decided to go against his father and join the Baratheon forces. And he's full of terrible decisions, he's married a celibate lowborn chaste woman but he did get a son out of it. And it wasn't a son born by his sister who ended up marrying Williet Lanet and having Brax kids, not quite the Joffrey she had in the other timeline. But here we are, we've raised again another army. Let me just uh, fill out my positions here. Eric, you're now a bodyguard. Uh, Eric's actually fucking terrible, isn't he? Garrett? Fuck it. No, you're busy. Captain of the Household Guard. Costain. Keeper of the Swans, Footley. Frederick Footley. Ah, the other Footley died, of course. Force away. And that we will have to do. It's a shame, but at least he is still a positive person. He's still a friend of ours. But we must select commanders. Our most senior commander at the moment is Bradwell, uh, so he will take over. Vortimer will take over the other flank, and we'll have. Uh, let's have Lord Force away on the other flank. And we are going to hunt down these fools, but first we're going to go to Footley Land. And in Footley Land, we will attempt to uh, find and hunt down our enemies. We're at 83% war score. Oh, Willis has had a son. Alright, maybe not. At least he still had one. We're going to attempt to find this army and take it out. What does he want? Betrothal. Allery Tyrell, my granddaughter. To Prince Alaric of Dawn. I don't think so. Uh, Dornish. So what is he doing? Is he there? Alright. What if we made our way up? Attrition 42, 11, 16. So we've been in 11 for a bit. 38, 16. Uh, 28, 38, 65, 19. Alright, let's not suffer attrition then. Let's kill uh, some of these fools on the way up. You can fuck off. You think I'm marrying my granddaughter to an egghead? Fuck off. These people, they literally have eggs for heads. Really? Holy fuck. Look at their weird fucking eggs. Eggheads. Weird misshapen fucks. Fuck them. Oh, we've already arrived. Well, excellent. The Fighting has begun, and once again we do outnumber Robert on his flank. We outnumber these two on the other flanks as well, but Stannis and Gregor are terrific commanders. I think we're fighting more enemies than last time as well, so we'll have to see exactly how this goes. Not well. Please rout off Stannis. We have routed off Robert. Robert has been defeated. Quickly. You glorious man, run them down. Murder as many of the cunts as you can. We have lost the Foss away. Murder Robert, take out Stannis, kill them all. Ah, Westerling was fighting alongside us, was he? Ah, oh, good for him. That is not quite the end of the war, but Gregor Clegane has been captured. And for his, uh... Well, he's just too dangerous to be left alive. Gregor Clegane must be executed. Hang the man, I don't think there's a rope big enough. Let's, uh, see what else there is. There's nothing else. Alright, we're gonna find the biggest fucking rope on the planet. So we're gonna hang this man off a cliff. It works. Well, Josmin. Congratulations, but the end of the war is surely near with that great victory. No, Fossaway survived. He must have just been sent packing. Well, in that case, you are unfit to command. Leo, take over, my good sir. Well, let's try and force through the end of this war. How can we do it? You can attempt to take out these fools over here. 
92, is anything here? No, there's not. 93, it should tick. It should tick all the way. But we'll see where Robert runs off to. Hopefully, just there. No. Don't be that stupid. Oh, maybe he is that stupid. He's going just here to Byford. Or let's attempt to take him out once and for all. Well, let's hope so. I would like some troops gas. Excellent. Run down Roberts. Well, his army has been defeated. Now we must take out the rest of his uh, land here in sieges. We can storm our way for it, sure. We just need this war score quick. 95. Still 95. What if we were to catch this here Lannister army? We would not. No, here. I say again, here. Are these lands not connected? Where is he going? Firing's cross. Let's chase them down, see if we can catch them. We caught them. He's going after firing. Dalston keep. Why have we now lost our war score again? What the fuck? What have they possibly taken? I don't say it's you, you bastard. Well, Paramount Jamie, you must be found and executed for your treachery. Where is he going? Alright, split the army. You men, go up and take care of these Bolton Falls. Rest of the army, chase down Jamie Lannister. At once. Uh, Leo Tyrell would like to be rewarded with a wife. I'll find you someone nice, Leo. You are a great commander. You deserve a lovely wife. Maybe one older in years, a Riesling, sure. Your daughters are unmarried, and so is your son, Gaunter. Yes, your women here, maybe we should find a marriage for them within the court. Medwick. Ah, oh, she's a great diplomat, Lara Tyrell. Perhaps I could do of a new marriage in my old age. Yes, we've been unmarried for far too long. We will marry our lovely kinsman, the 21-year-old or 17-year-old. The 17-year-old. Why not? We're a dirty old man after all. Excellent. Why the hell not? Why should we not treat ourselves to a lovely teenage bride? We've suffered most of our life at war. We have killed many men in personal combat. Excellent. If we go down here, we'll have them trapped between a rock and an army. It's the best way to deal with these Lannisters. This is a marriage of love. Sure, I could fall in love with my wife. Why not? It's always best to fall in love with your wife, I think. Gas. You better win, Gas. Take Brian with you. Rebalance your armies. If there's only two generals, there should only be two flanks. Go for it. Excellent. Army, take out these Lannister fools. Battle of uh, Strongcliff is ongoing. Oh, we have found Stark forces. Oh, we have two flanks and they have two flanks. Who's he got fighting with him? Oh, it's Eddard. It's Eddard, eh? Oh, we do have reinforcements incoming. Excellent. They've also given us a flank to see off these fray fools. No, oh, we might be struggling with, uh, with the man here, though. These Lannister forces, however, will be just destroyed. Yeah, so we have lost over here to Robert. Who's come out of nowhere to take over? Of course he has. Fucking Robert. Well, at least these fools have been defeated. We'll now march our main army up to the same position. Gars and Brian will remain in that local area to keep an eye on the enemy movements. I'm sure they'll do as they are told. 
my food. Maybe they won't do as it's old. Maybe they'll go after this army instead. Excellent. More Lannisters destroyed. And hopefully taking out all of this area will be enough. We'll send the main army over to here, so they'll have nowhere to go, nowhere to escape. This army will take care of these fools here. Hopefully. Oh, there are a lot of Lannisters around the general area there. But still, we should try. Try to take out whatever armies we can. Right, it will not work. Okay, make your way over here. Or defeat Roberts, take back all of the sieges. That should be the victory in uh, in the war. Should be. I have believed I should have had victory many, many times, but it still has not occurred. Roberts just keeps on gaining men and strength. Bradwell, Gas, and Vortimer. I guard and prospers. And our enemies are devoured. We'll go up into two different armies. Leo, take Brian. We'll go the other way. We'll ensure that they have no escape. Alright, men, charge. So you'll have that flank and that flank. You'll have that flank. Okay, well let us... Let's move all of our men onto the other flank here. We'll have this entire army led by Vortimer on that flank. You, gentlemen. We are going to go for a strong... Centre here. Led by Bradwell. And we'll have... Gas on the other flank there. Excellent. You will arrive on the 7th, you will arrive on the 12th. The 7th, the 12th, the 8th, the 12th, the 12th, the 12th. Very good. We will see these foreign forces destroyed. Obligate the vassal. Excellent. So we have gone with a very strong center, a very strong right flank, which is excellent. It's going to destroy this lot and go straight on to attacking Robert from the flank. Terrific. These guys here will will win, but they'll need a bit of time to get, get over and done with. Excellent. So we have two very strong flanks attacking Robert. Hopefully that will be enough. But you never know with bloody Robert, do you? My centre will probably fall. Yes, they have fallen, but so has Robert. Excellent. Everybody now is uh, forced to retreat. I owe him nothing. No, oh, I'll arrange him a slight award. It's better that he likes me. Excellent. Robert's forces will be uh, slaughtered. Terrific. But still, Robert is free. Right, we're up to 97%. How can we do any better? Just allow it to tick down, and hopefully it will tick all the way to 100%. Please keep me alive. Right, 98. Very good. If we just let it tick. If we let it tick. Tick, tick, tick. And what can he do to stop us? Ah. My lovely mother has uh, not lasted the entire series. She has passed away at the age of 81. Oh, that is a shame. The court tutor will now be uh, Maester Normand. Handmaiden will be my sister-in-law. And the Justice Sir. Uh, I need a new Justice Sir, do I? 
My wife, perhaps. She's a great diplomat. My new spy master. A fray, you say? You never trust a riverman. I mean, uh, yes, a riverman. How about... Giles, the master of, uh, Nettleton. Nettles are... De deceptive and such. Oh, there's a 9,000 man army down there. We are at 99%, so I believe we should be able to survive this. Oh shit, I think I've... I've got cancer. Great. What is he doing? He's, he's actually the marshal of... Um, there. Interesting. My life is in your hands. Please do not kill me. Yes, I now disfigured and success, uh, severely injured, but at least I don't have cancer. Now, perhaps taking this here before the Lannisters win the siege over there will win us the war. No, he's already escaped. And my mason has died. Of course. Of course he has. Alright, let's try and see if this will win us the war. 100%, please end the war, you fool. Please end it. Excellent. Robert has finally been defeated at the age of 47, which I am sure is about 10 years longer than he actually lived. Stannis is 45, for fuck's sake. His, Stannis has a 25-year-old son. That's how, <laughs> that's how crazy this ended up being. And Ares is still in command. And his heir is actually Robert. Are you kidding? Daenerys is married to a Baratheon, so it looks like... Oh no, these are Targaryens. What the hell is going on? We shall prevail. What? Why am I in this war? From Clayman Daenerys. It's Bridgewater. Well, let's go besiege Bridgewater then. I didn't intend on that being part of it, but... And it turns out other kings are becoming independent here. The Lancers have declared war, the Starks have declared war. The Tullys have just gone on, gone on with it. The fucking polar bears have done their part. Yeah, the realm is going to continue to bleed. But I want no part of it. I want to get out of this war and just... See my realm prosper. Can we hit their army? Please do. So who's the new Lord Paramount here? Oh, Roberts, but he can't actually do anything, can he? Alright, so let's go and take out their castle. Oh, my wife is pregnant. That is excellent. What do you want, Robert? Robert would like his son to marry my granddaughter. I decline this offer. Should not be a surprise to him. Alright, how on earth do we end this war? Robert, please join us. Good man. Oh, who is it? Stannis. Stannis is here to join the siege. Well done, Stannis. Join us at Atsdale, Stannis. We will see this war over. Very good. Okay, now let us please march home and have peace. No, I don't want to rejoin this, this struggle. I guess I don't have a choice. Really? I guess the whole realm is now against good old Ned up in the, in the north, but I will have no part of it. I'm going to march my men home and we are going to uh, do our thing. Now, there is you. Why are you being dicks?
Eh, yeah, some hunting could cheer me up. Might end disastrously, but... What about that? Oh no, it did great. Oh well. There's the shields are loyal, you are disloyal. All I really want to do is get my lords back under my control. Ashford, you are imprisoned by Ares the Mad. Well, you should be under my ruler, so that I can take the old land off you, you treacherous fuck. Oh, excellent, I have had a daughter. We should call her M Marge. Because why the hell not? She is 24 years younger than her second uh, youngest sibling. Well, no, her youngest sibling, yes. 33 years younger than her oldest. Ah, is there a way to commit suicide? I think... I think Mace is probably done with his life now. Mace the Masked Man. The Masked Man, Mace. Lord Treasurer. You know what? I'm probably actually going to end the series here. We've done the main war for all these episodes. Mace is now an old man with a, a family and... He's had an interesting life. Good for him. I don't know what else there is I could really get up to. Oh my gods. I thought we were meant to be an attractive family. Yes, I don't really have the... Uh, I don't feel the necessity to go and besiege the North and then besiege the Westerlands and then just... Just get on with it. I think we've had enough war. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the series. It was a fun one at first. Sort of dragged out quite a fair bit, but that's the life of Mace Tyrell. Dragged out wars. Trained fighter. Fucking hell. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.